Hello everyone, I am Madeleine Harris and I am the owner of BioLink in Durbanville here in the beautiful Western Cape. My background is in industrial psychology where I have an honours degree and I've also qualified as a psychometrist. My family and I lived in Wales for seven years and it was during this time that I also did a diploma in a teaching assistant course. Um, I had to do my practicals in schools and I worked in the classroom with six and seven year olds. Now it was during this time that I could really see the differences in the skills that the six and seven years old, year, years old children had. Some of them would listen to the teacher, they would go off and they would easily do their assignments. Whereas the other children really struggled just to remember what it was that they had to do. So, um, yeah, and today there's actually so many resources out there that we can take and that we can do with our children in order for them to develop and strengthen those skills needed, what they need um, in the classroom. And that's why I'm so happy and pleased that you are doing this challenge with us because you are investing in your child's future. And I do hope that you find all the, uh, the exercises helpful and that you enjoy spending the time with your children. Now today I'm going to talk about the concept of time. Now if we think about time, it is something that we all have the same amount of in a day. There's no skill or wealth or educational degree that can help you to have more hours in a day. But the way we plan and utilize our time is what, is make, what, is what makes the difference. So we see this in our older children in, the, in our centrums, that they simply cannot plan their time. The, uh, the, the call that we get from their moms would be something like they have so much homework, but they never finish it. Um, or if it's time to study, they just can't get through all the study material. And that simply all comes down to uh, the planning of time. So time management is really important. And if we can help our children from a young age to plan their time effectively, then we are really setting them up for success in their future school careers and even when they go to university. Okay, so time is a very abstract concept for our little ones. So that's why we have to take it a few steps back and we have to first let them start to feel. What does time feel like? So what you can do is you can play your favorite game. Any, it can be anything, but tell them that you are going to set a timer for five minutes and then later you do a timer for 10 minutes and let them feel what does five minutes feel like and what does the 10 minutes feel like. You can also take them to the kitchen and bake some muffins and let them set the timer for 30 minutes. And then you can tell them, can you now feel that 30 minutes feels much longer than the 10 minute or the five minute game that we played. And then the most important part now is to link this time to an activity that they have to do every day. For example, the 10 minute um, game, tell them that you have 10 minutes in the morning to get dressed. When you do the two minute game, tell them that that's the time that they have to brush their teeth in the morning. When you do the 30 minute cooking uh, or baking muffins in the kitchen, you can tell them that that is the amount of time that they need to take to read their book in the evenings. Okay, so it's important to link that time to an activity that they have to do every day. Okay, so um, one of the resources now that I, that I gave to you is a, a daily planner. Now, what I would like you to do is to sit with your child and write in all of their activities that they have in a week. So show them, they get up at seven in the morning, they get dressed, and then at eight o'clock they need to be at school, and they're at school until one o'clock. And then write, write it in, sit with them, and show them. Then off to school, they're going to gymnastics, and then they're going to their grands maybe, and then they're coming home, play time, reading time, and then your evening routine starts. Let them be part of that planning during the week and put it on the fridge so that they can have a visual idea of how their week, um, of how, the t how their time is allocated in a week for all their activities. 
and then the other resource that I have put out for you is one where you can take it on a monthly calendar so you can write in everyone's birthdays special holidays that you've planned or special outings that you've planned and also put it up and let them count down the days maybe to their birthday or to a outing that that is coming up so that they can visually see how time will um how the the progression of time towards their birthday or towards the outing okay the, if they can see it visually it can start helping them to see what does time look like okay so they felt it now they can see what it looks like and this is where the next step comes in the resource that i gave to you is a clock where you can now start showing them at what time does their activities happen so first of all show them the parts of the clock the long hand is to show the minutes the short hand is to show the hours and now it's important to show them at what time does their activities take place. So when they go to gymnastics on a Monday, it happens at three o'clock. And take it and sit with them and show them this is what three o'clock looks like. Okay. And another tip that I have is to really make telling the time part of your everyday conversation. So every time you do something, like you take them to gymnastics or you take them um, to go to the shop, if you've got a set time for that, or if it's time to read, show them the hour of the day so that they can get used to linking their activities to a time on the clock. Okay. Um, yes, and if you do these activities with your children, really enjoy the time with them. Um, as soon as you can sit with them and you do homework with them or you do any kind of activity with them, it is that time where they allow you to come into their world and um, just live in the moment and enjoy the time with them. Okay, and thank you for taking the time to do these homework challenges with us. I really hope you enjoy them and that you spend some special quality time with your children. Bye.